Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Prison Suicidal, and I want to go fishing. Fishing is, uh, an interest of mine. I was going to say hobby, but I don't actually partake myself. Um, but, uh, it's an interest of mine, and it has been for quite some time. So the first time I went fishing was, uh, I want to say 16-ish. 17 years ago, like some 15, 16, somewhere like that. It's been it's been a good while since the last time I went, or for, since the first time I went fishing. Uh, the last time I would have gone fishing would have been nine or ten years ago. Um, we, uh, my father, my mother, and I, my my sister was over in uh, some camp. She didn't really want to go fishing anyway, uh, so we were like, you know, she's gonna go on a camp. We're gonna go fishing. Um, my mother didn't enjoy it, my father and I quite did. Um, but, uh, so anyway, we went, uh, we, we ordered, like, a, a charter, right, to, to go out onto the ocean on a boat, uh, they had all the, the gear needed to actually fish, they had experience and knowledge and were able to kind of, like, walk us through the whole process, get everything set up, and, uh, all we had to do really was, like, when the fish got hooked, just reel it in. We caught a couple of salmon, and uh, ultimately had a pretty good time. And uh, ever since then, pretty much, I've I've really really wanted a boat. You know, like I've I've really wanted to have my own boats and be able to go out on the ocean, go fishing, you know, have fun, do all that kind of stuff. Because to me, it, it was it was one of the most like one of the most enjoyable experiences I think I've ever had. Was uh, was going out on the ocean. You know, nothing in sight but water, just just water, for for as far as your eyes could see, and uh, you know, seeing the the line start to, to shake and feeling the the tug on the the rod the rod and reeling it in and um having a good time with that, right? It was it was a blast, and I really wanted to have a, a boat ever since. Um, the issue with, with with owning a boat though is that it's like a lot of work to maintain a boat. Um, I don't know exactly what needs to be done on it. I just know that like it's it's there are a lot of hidden costs. Like I was gonna like you know save up money and then like look into it and stuff, but like. You know, I don't know all of it, but I know that you have to have a place to put the boat. You gotta have, you gotta like clean the boat. You know, there's, um, like things break down and you have to fix them. And, uh, there's licenses and insurance and like there's just, it, it, it's it's an enormous amount of work and, and money to, to be able to actually like own and maintain a boat. At least one that I would actually want to have, like one that would be capable of going out onto the ocean and um, fishing up some some stuff, right? Like, it wouldn't just be, like, a little, like, lake canoe or something, you know? Like, like a proper boat with, uh, with, uh, with a motor on it and, and all that. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite a quite a, a feat to maintain one of those. And uh, they're not particularly cheap. Um, I, th I think I could probably afford it. And I, I think I could ma probably manage it. I mean, like, you know, people do, right? Like, it's not like it's an impossible thing to do. It's just, uh... For 15-year-old me at the time, or however old I was, definitely more than I could bite off, right? More more than I could chew. Um, so, kind of put that on hold. Um, you have to die, like, right now, okay? Um, so, I never ended up getting the boat. It's definitely, like, on my list of things to do if I uh, ever happen to be, like, rich, you know? Because, like, the, the, with the work to maintain a boat, I don't really particularly care for. I like being out on the ocean, right? So, so my dream is to have somebody else maintain the boat for me and then also, like, drive the boat for me. Like, I, I want my own boat chauffeur, you know? Um, and, uh, you know... That's that's what I want, um, and then also to know how to do it 
to, to, to know how to drive it and maintain it all myself so that uh, in the event that uh, my boat chauffeur was not able to make it when I wanted to go out fishing, I could just be like, well, you know what, screw it, I'll do it myself. And, uh, you know, be fine that way. Like, obviously you still have to have people with you and stuff just in case something goes wrong, but, you know, not the boat chauffeur. Um... But that's that's highly unlikely to ever happen because I'm not I'm not really ever gonna make it uh, make it to 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 quite be that rich. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, but you know you don't have to necessarily go out on the ocean to go fishing. You can go not on the ocean and it's still fun. Um, so I've been thinking about lately, maybe like getting a rod and tackle and all that and um on the scope. Back to it, mes amis. go do some some fishing out on the lakes or rivers or whatever there's uh, lots of places to fish around here lots of trout um i think there are a few places i can catch salmon as well uh without having to go out on the ocean around here um lots of cliffs and stuff like that with uh, with deep waters i believe uh which are, are typically where the the salmon tend to hang out right uh, we got halibut around here as well, but I, I'm, I'd, I'd, I'd be surprised if I could catch that without a boat. Um, but yeah, tip, like around here we've got, uh, you know, there's bass. You can use bass like anywhere. <laughs> you know, like like it's not bass isn't really a, you're not really ever at uh, at risk of not being able to go catch bass in uh, in your area when you're in. Uh, North America, at least. Probably anywhere in the world, I'd imagine. Um, bass or something like it, anyway. Um, then we got uh, we got lots of trout, lots of salmon, lots of salmon. Uh, we got like uh, halibut um, and, and a couple of other fish. I can't remember, but there's uh, there's some good fishing around here. Nothing that I'm like super into, but definitely some some fish around here. So I'm thinking. Uh, I might go pick up some stuff. I think it's like, I don't know, 150 maybe $200 at the most to like go from having nothing to having everything you need to go fishing. Um, so it's, you know, that's that's cool. One of my main issues with fishing though, like I, I've been watching some uh, like beginner guides for fishing lately and uh, one of my main issues with it is that a lot of them are like yeah so you don't want to get like these types of hooks uh, these are the knots you're gonna want this is the kind of like rod you're gonna want you know this is the spinning wheel that you want and uh, the spinning reel rather um, you know all, all of this kind of stuff and then they're like and uh, then for your lure you know you can pick up any kind of soft plastic and I'm like mm, uh, that kind of makes me uncomfortable the kind just this ultimately Soft plastic is just like to me. I just the world would be better off if we just didn't have soft plastics, like ever for anything, pretty much. Really, um, because the the thing with fishing, right, is that uh, you you cast out your 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 line, right? So you uh. You know, you, 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 you grab the line and you throw it, and then you release the line and it uh, it flies off into the distance, right? Uh, a wonderful thing that's that's very easy to do, I'm sure. And then, um, no, don't go this way. Nice! <laughs> um, you know, you, you, you throw it out. You don't always get it back, right? Sometimes, especially when you're like lake fishing or river fishing or whatever, sometimes um, it'll get stuck on something, and you just you ju you just you won't really be able to get it back, um, and uh, it'll get lost in the in the water. Um, sometimes you know the fish will bite it, and uh, you won't catch the fish, but it'll take whatever you know lure you had or at least part of it. Um, and to me, I'm just like. Just kind of thinking about it, like how much 
soft plastic is just sitting like like vibrant soft plastic is just sitting at the bottom of like all of the lakes and rivers in the world you know what i mean because they don't degrade you know if a fish eats it it just gets pooped out just the same way it came in it's not gonna like get worn or whatever like it's just soft plastic and over time what's gonna happen is it isn't gonna degrade but like the water is just going to disintegrate it and then you'll just have like all of these like microplastics just kind of like floating throughout the, the the water that are like infesting all of the like it just it annoys me that it's so prevalent that that you just go buy soft plastic lures attach them to your hook and go catch stuff because i'm like you just you're just gonna like lose it you know not all of them but you know when you when if you go to a fishing store you'll, you'll see these packs of lures there's like 10 or 12 stinking little worms in uh, in a bag why because they're not expecting you to only need to use one when you go out fishing they're expecting that some of them are going to get lost in the water and uh it's 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 just it's disgusting to me um so i don't know you, you can use real worms i believe um but i don't know what what i want is is biodegradable you know fish safe um artificial lure right does that does that work let's 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 take a let's take a google search here um biodegradable how do you spell it? there it is plastic lures biobait sounds cool our mission of biobait is protecting and serve our fisheries for generations to come by offering a safer alternative to soft plastic thank you uh, revolutionary patented water soluble safer alternative fishing lure and apparel company breaks down 99 percent quicker safer for fish in the uh, environments um sounds pretty good to me uh squirt worm sure yeah they just look like normal soft plastic lures but they are biodegradable apparently that's pretty cool Uh, biodegradable yeah because I like to me I just wouldn't want to I don't know like I'm not super into live bait um, and then I'm like hyper against soft plastics for for bait personally it's just, it's just like, do you care about the world? Like, what what happened to the you know it, it, like the part that gets me is is you'll see f like, you know, I don't know, is anglers the right term? I guess. You know you'll you'll see all these people out there fishing with with their uh, you, know, you know with their fishing rods and and all this kind of stuff you know like you do when you're fishing, and uh, you know they'll they'll be like preaching the leave no trace kind of um uh motto right like like these people out here like unironically being like oh yeah make sure you leave no trace like you know blah 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 blah. don't um you know damage the environments don't um you know litter don't do all this kind of stuff and then they're using soft plastic lures and i'm like you're not that's not leaving no trace that's that's being just so disrespectful to the environment that you're fishing and like you're not contributing to, to make this and this is a highly controversial topic believe it or not i'm um, looking on the internet i was like because i was like looking at it i'm like i remember using soft plastic lures when i was like 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 when i first first way way early started out um fishing um you know but that was like 15 years ago so i was like watching these videos that are like recent and stuff and i'm like how are these still legal but it, like what, what's happening is there there have been people who have been like hey we should like ban soft plastic lures because they're not good for environments and it's like the, the the anglers are like ah nah like let's not do that it's okay 
We're not littering that much, but like, there's there's just there's just no way you aren't. They're not biodegradable. They don't like unless you're going into the water and picking them up and taking them out. Like, they're just being left there forever, and it's it's just disgusting to me. Um, so I think if I was gonna be fishing, uh, for me, I, I hit a hotkey. By the way, I had to click on something. Um, for me, if I was going to go fishing again, I would 100% um, not go for the uh, the soft plastic lures. Like I will never use a soft plastic lure ever. Um, like just just throwing literal plastic into the lake and being like, well, if it doesn't come back, it doesn't really matter. No, <laughs> no, like, no, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Don't be like, no. Like, you know, most of the time your lure is going to come back, but like, I don't know. It just feels so wrong. So I, I'd probably end up using live worms is my guess. Um, Cause I want to go fishing, but, and uh, you know, for first beginner fishing, I, I think that, uh, that bass fishing is, is generally pretty much sort of your, like, bottom of the barrel, let's go fishing kind of experience, you know? Um, and then, uh, you know, oh my god, I'm like, I feel, like, ever since I hit that hotkey, my, it's just been feeling kind of weird, I don't know, maybe I have something, uh, wrong here. Do not know, we'll just deal with it. Um, but I, I don't think I'd ever use soft lure, like soft plastic lures. Um, I, I might try it a couple of times. Um, just to see, like, you know, how much of the plastic is actually getting left in the lake. Because, like, I don't have experience with it, like, recent experience that I actually have, like, memories of, you know? Like, how much of the plastic is actually getting left in the, in the ocean when, when you're fishing? I don't know. But just, just the thought of it, that you're just throwing... These, these soft plastics. And by the way, soft plastic is always poisonous. Um, it's like it's like a major thing in... Uh, we're going to pivot like 180 here. Um, but in, uh, in in pleasure toys and sex toys and stuff, um, it's, it's like a major thing. You do not want to buy soft plastics because they're extremely bad for you. Because uh, they use like phallopates or something like that to, to, to soften the plastic and, and it uh, it makes them soft and like fun to hold and do stuff with and like very malleable um, but it also like you know what hold up let's 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 look at it so I'm getting the right information here okay soft plastic do, do, do. okay we're, I'm, I've been searching for a lot of um, soft plastics it's like uh, uh, soft plastic chemical, yeah, phthalate, phthalates. Uh, it's on cbc.ca. Phthalates are a chemical used to make polyvinyl chloride, a type of plastic, flexible. They're also used to hold color and scents in certain products. Um, phthalates may have feminizing properties in humans. Um, wow. Boys born to expectant mothers exposed to high levels of phthalates showed smaller... Uh, wee wee sizes, incompletely descended uh, testes, and a shorter distance between the butthole and the base of the wee wee, compared with boys born to women at low. So it basically, if you know, you're still using them toys when you're pregnant. Um, you're gonna mess up your your kid if they're a boy. Um. Yes, yeah, so there's restrictions on using it in uh, in kids, like no kids, like pretty much anywhere in America, uh, North America, that is, uh, can like have soft plastic products, pretty much. Um, they are like banned for like a lot of American stuff. Like, like they're like bad. They're not good. You know, they, they do a great job of of, uh, of making the plastic softer and more flexible, but they are just unbelievably bad for, 
for for humans at least and yeah I don't know how much testing has been done on uh, on them for fish but I, I'd be very surprised if they weren't also bad for fish um, so you know, just just the idea of throwing these soft plastics into the into the water and like just kind of hoping that it comes back is just like it, like it just feels so backwards to me. So I don't know. I'd, I'd probably try it. Um, you know, but but the first time I like am missing like a significant part of the lure, I'd be like, yeah, no, this is just completely not worth it. I'd I'd rather just like use an actual worm or something, or like, you know, just just. I'd, I'd, I'd hate to see the, the bottom of the lakes, you know? Like, how much plastic is just sitting there? Like, how, how much, like, these, these vibrant plastic, you know, worms and frogs and whatever other kind of lures people get. Just these vibrant, soft plastic piles of garbage at the bottom of lakes. That's what it is, man. Hey, 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 hey. Um, terrible, right? Terrible. Anyway, I want to get into fishing, so I'm gonna have to, to suck it up at some point. You know, the funny thing, the, I don't know, it's not really funny. I was gonna say it's funny that I, like, I don't mind, like, catching and eating a fish, but I, I hate throwing plastics into water, but no, I, like, when I catch and eat a fish, I'm affecting that fish, you know? And then, like, all the other fish that I caught along the way to, <laughs> to get the fish that I actually wanted to take home. Um, because, you know, you don't want to, like, take, like, a tiny fish. Because, uh, like, there's just no point to it. And then, uh, you know, some fish are restricted. And, you know, there's all these laws and regulations on it and stuff. So, like, you know, you're not always catching a fish that you can actually take home. Um, but, you know, like, like when, 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 but when, when, when you're just littering in the... And maybe that's the real, maybe that's the major problem, right? Maybe when you're, you're casting the lure out, most of your lure comes back. Maybe. Maybe it's just that a lot of people are, like, just throwing their lures into the water. I don't know. It just annoys me when when, I'll, when, I, when I'm, like, reading up on all this stuff and it's just like, yeah, just, um, use these soft plastic lures. Toss them into the water like it's nobody's uh, business, you know? Like, I don't know, this goes against everything I've learned throughout my life as, like, an environmentally conscious person with any respect for the environment. Like, it just... It's just, it's just red flags everywhere, man. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Okay. It's just, uh, it's just terrible. That's really what it is. But, I mean, fishing is really fun. So if that's the only way I can do it, then I'd rather not than uh, do it. But again, I'm going to try it because I don't know. I, I gotta practice what I preach, you know. Try it before you you say it's a terrible thing. Um, but yeah, the for the first the first time I like am missing a significant portion of a soft plastic lure, I'm not using them. And I think I think it won't be long before I do. You know, like a fish will bite off like half of the lure or something, you know. And I'll be like, wow, that's a lot of the lure that just didn't come back. It's just in the lake now. It's just in the river now. I just littered i just threw plastic away into the water that's going to be bad for all of the fish here like it's just i could ramble for a lot longer than i already have been on this problem it just really annoys me because um like plastic in the oceans and stuff is already such a major problem you'd think we'd be banning like throwing more plastic into the water you'd think that would be like illegal you know, given the problem with plastics in the water, you'd, you'd think it would be illegal to just throw plastic into the water, but for some reason it's not. Kind of really annoys me. But, um, anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.